Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Shil Riser Teaching. Today we are going to discuss a new topic that is Haitian Revolution. So this was a uh, revolution of the Haiti island that that was under the control of France. So it began in August 1791 at the at a boys' caramel ceremony. What was this boys' caramel ceremony? This was basically a night between 13th and 14th August. All the enslaved people had a gathering over there, and they, the leader of this gathering was the Bokemendetti, and the another spiritual leader was the Kesail Fatimin. A speech was given to these enslaved people for, in the form of plantation that they are not going to, uh, they are not going to be slaved any more, and they want independence for them. In a week itself, hundreds of plantations were set on fire. The fields were on fire. This all was done so that slave economy don't function anymore. So all these enslaved people start to burn the plantation. They set all the fields on fire, and they don't want the slave economy to function anymore. They wanted their uh, themselves uh, to be free of the uh, powers that were ruling over them. So now the government tried to control this revolt. The government rose towards the revolt. A newspaper was uh, sell a fake news that the sensational and salacious tale. The newspaper said that the black people cutting white people head off or they are killing their masters. So this newspaper uh, spread the fake news say, uh, saying that the black people are cutting the white people heads off. Although this wasn't true in the early days of revolution, it was totally against the slave economy, so that it cannot function anymore. So basically, the enslaved people were not cutting of the uh, cutting the head of the white people. They were only putting the plantations of fire because they don't want the slave economy to function anymore, and they want the freedom for themselves. The planters defend themselves, and of course, some of them flew to mountains. After this, the government take actions against all the enslaved people, due to which the planters try to defend themselves, and they, some of them flew to mountains, some of them flew to U.S., to Cuba, to Jamaica, and to New Orleans. After this, French sent army and ships to calm down the things. Three com uh, commissioners initially were unsuccessful. They quelled the fires. So basically, French sent their army to the island, and they also sent their three commissioners, but they all uh, became unsuccessful and could not control the spread of the revolt. French failed to control the matter and make the matter worse. They were at war with English and Spain, who sent troops to the island. So basically, English also sent troop to the island. Spain also sent troop to the island, and French also sent troop to the island. All these three, instead of controlling the situation over the island, they start a revolt between them. They start to fight each other. So during the revolution, a new revolutionary leader came out. When this revolu uh, revolution was taking place on the island, a new revolutionary leader came out. The name of the revolutionary leader was the Toussaint Louvert, allied himself with Spanish, won against France, Feb 19, uh, 1794. So basically, this leader came out of the enslaved people. All the three, the English, the Spain, and the uh, French troops were there. So the Toussaint Louvert allied himself to the Spanish and won against France. When French realized they are losing their colonies, they abolished the slavery. So when the French leaders realize that they are losing their powers over the island, they start they start to abolish the slavery over the island. After this, Louverter allied himself with France, forcing the Spanish army to retreat. So here, Louverter played a game. Now he started to be a part of the France, and he started to uh, send the Spanish and the English out of the island because the government was working according to him. He wanted the end of slavery, and France uh, and the French gave the order to end the slavery. When we need to know where this Haitian Revolution was actually taking place so here in the map we can see this is the island and this is the Haiti uh, revolution where take place this is the capital that is Santo Domingo here basically it is started it is in the Atlantic Ocean this is the Caribbean Sea this is the Atlantic Ocean and here is the Haitian Island when we see the pictures who were involved in the Haitian revolution here we uh, come through some of the pictures of the Haitian Revolution. These are some pictures of Haitian Revolution. So by seeing this picture, we can see how brutal it would have been for those people who were a part of this Haitian Revolution.
next to be come uh, after this lowered allied himself with france forcing the spanish army to retreat when they won their freedom many revolutionaries uh, representative were sent to the national assembly in paris to represent them over here french uh, french government played a uh, played a game with the enslaved people they gave them freedom and also uh, sent some of the revolutionaries as representative to the national assembly in paris also they spread also the spread of disease like yellow fever smallpox and also devastated the uh, spanish and british troop france alone cannot defeat the spanish and the english troops this they were able to do so because they were familiar with the island but spanish and uh, english troops were not and they also get infected by these serious diseases such as the yellow fever and smallpox next point we need to know that how they were sharing news for their revolution it is very obvious that whenever a revolution take place in a country the most important part is the news if the news doesn't spread the revolution doesn't spread so the main reason of spread of news that the enslaved people were great at reading between the lines enslaved heightened civil religion vodou religion committee by communicate by basically practicing spirituality so they were used to they used to communicate with each other through spirituality the revolution began in 1791 and the revolution abolished in 1794 after 1794 napoleon in power in france napoleon came into power in france and his power make a great impact on heightened revolution napoleon power rises in 1799 napoleon rival to send lowered extreme control over the island at this time in 1799 percent lowered had extreme control over the island so napoleon decided to send his brother in law charles victor emmanuel lecre to the island in 1801 he now this lecre arrives with 20000 french troops to the island this was not a peaceful expedition he came over the over the island for a peaceful expedition but basically this was not a peaceful expedition uh, napoleon had some other plans Napoleon brought back brought back slavery to the island so Napoleon firstly did the same thing as it was in the past in 1791 he brought back slavery he signed a decree in May of 1802 that allowed the reinstatement of slavery in the French empire in 18, 1802 that allowed reinstatement of slavery in the French empire in June 1802 Toussaint Louverture got arrested and he died a horrible death in French prison so basically Toussaint Louverture was killed by Napoleon in an indirect way he got arrested and died a horrific death in the French prison in 1803 everyone got together and they drove the French out of the island so in 1803 after the death of Toussaint Louverture all the enslaved people of the heightened revolution they uh, start to bind together they start to stand up together against the french and move them out of the island officially declare independence in january 1804 so in 1804 of january all these people declare the independence against the french in the haiti island so the important fact after the revolution enslaved people resisted their enslavement got the entire nation free of slavery got independence for, from france so these were the three main points after the revolution but this was not the final revolution for the haiti people in 1805 first haitian constitution was written so haiti people uh, wrote their constitution in 1805 in 1825 france recognized haitian independence through 150 france so haiti people has to pay 150 france to the french so that they can get in the total uh, freedom in 1862 us recognized haitian revolution in 1862 us us gave a recognizable identity to the haitian revolution and to the haiti island in 1947 haiti finishes paying debt and the debt they were having f- for the france of 150 franc so haiti pays the debt in 1947 and this was the main point where they get the actual freedom so from 1791 to 1947 haitian people uh, 
fought against France to get their freedom in in case of slavery. So this was the most successful slave revolt in history, and Haitian Revolution is also known as the Slave Revolution because this was the biggest slave revolution in the history. Thank you. I hope you got it, guys.